what DHS is doing is incorporating all of these different mechanisms, these modes of collecting um, biometrics, all of the things that I discussed, the fingerprints, palm prints, iris scans, uh, all of that, um, and creating what they're calling a person-centric system that can track an individual's progress through the immigration system all the way up to naturalization by periodically capturing some significant biometric or another. Um, DNA being probably, um, as the rule is written, the least used and only in applications where there is a need to establish familial relationships. Generally, that's the notion. And this not only promotes ensuring that at no point does an imposter um, sneak into the system, but it also allows Homeland Security um, periodically to revet that person. Revetting allows the government to take another look and another look through discrete periods of time to see whether the person's circumstances have changed, whether their mindset has changed. Um, that allows the government to, to scrutinize whether or not they are still entitled to live and remain in the United States, or whether there is a basis on which the government should be acting um, to strip them of their residence or to initiate a removal action, or at minimum to deny them naturalization if there are serious grounds to believe um, that they are not uh, entitled to citizenship.